I've been staring at this audio recording software for a while because I really didn't know how to start this video because I knew what I wanted to say in this video, but I didn't know how to really direct it, if that makes any sense. Like, I know what I'm going to say, however, it's just hard for me to present it because, first of all, I'm going at this without a script because, honestly, with videos when it comes to this, when it comes to videos like these, I usually don't make myself a script only just because I want it to feel like it's coming from me genuinely. Like, I don't want it to feel like, oh, I'm just reading off of something and like this is what I'm designed to say no 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 I want this to feel like it's coming from the hearts so if you're wondering why I'm making this video I probably hinted that this had like some other videos before like there were some kick around videos that was like oh there's definitely gonna be an update video of me talking about something important coming soon which that video that I was talking about it's this video so if you're wondering Let's take a little bit of a trip back to November 1st when I released the video where it was about the whole cookie run drama situation with Save Rose and all that stuff. And don't worry, I'm not going to get into like too drama heavy territory in this video. This is just going to be more about personal feelings about myself. So, of course, that's absolutely fine. And in fact, since I'm talking about myself, I can actually monetize this video because I don't want to monetize off something very bad because that would just make me feel like a terrible person. But when I made that video, one thing that really put me in perspective when it came to the Cookie Run community is that I can't play Cookie Run forever. And I'm not saying that I hate Cookie Run. Let's get that out, let's just get this out of the way first. If you think that I hate Cookie Run, you are wrong. There are times where I will be angry at the game. There are times I will be upset at the game. But I mostly just get upset at the game because I want the game to do better. And of course, yeah, there's rage, of course, but that's just because, you know, I can sometimes be bad at it or sometimes something can glitch or I can make a misplay. Those are different, but when I get genuinely upset at the game, it's because I just, I, I just wanted to do better, I wanted to learn, and when it comes to Dev Sisters, as far as I know, sure, they're providing a lot of rewards and stuff, but it doesn't seem that they're taking the criticism that we're giving to heart, and it really put me in consideration to just think, I don't think I can be recording Kicker Run for the rest of my life. Like, of course, that's basically a guarantee, it's not like I can just live the rest of my life playing Kicker Run, but honestly, it co goes into a couple more fa like factors in that, which... That was kind of like the main primary one. It was making that video. Hold on, let me just take a sip of water first. This is unscripted content. I apologize, but I had water there, so why not? But anyway, that was factor number one, which is, just give you a quick summary. I couldn't really record Cookie Run for long because, like, not because I hate the community. No, I love the community. It's just the fact that, like, you know, with how it's being, I don't think I can really make a whole life living based off of just only cook run content and i know all of you love the cook run content which it just means i'm not going to be saying like oh i quit cook run you're not going to see cook run content any longer no i'm still going to be making cook run content and i'm still going to have fun doing it it's just that the thing is i want to do things on the channel that isn't cookie run and i don't know when that's going to start it might be soon it might be later but mainly that was one big thing that i wanted to do and that was a big factor that led into it. However, there was another big factor that led into it, which is kind of not in the same aspect, but it's kind of in the same video. It was just the fact that when I said, I'm pretty sure somewhere in the video, I said something like, you know, I can't be doing this forever. I'm not going to be able to play Kick Run forever. It really dawned on me that like, wow, like I've been mostly for a majority of the content, like 99%. It's all been like cookie run related and like I'm not sure how much I can do that for long and of course I know a lot of you love the cookie run content and like I said I genuinely love it too but I would like to delve into some other stuff because I love a lot of games I love a, a lot of stuff and I'm not sure if I could just fully like solely focus on the cookie run content because honestly there's so many more things I want to dwell my feet into and I was kind of scared like, I was scared to, like, dwell my feet into, like, anything, mainly because I was like this a few years back. I was recording so many different Let's Plays that, like, yeah, there was so much variety. Like, I was recording Shovel Knight, there was Terraria, there was some Minecraft-related stuff, there was playing a bunch of horror games, like, Off. Uh, well, that's not even a horror game, I don't think it's an RPG game, but I never finished that. Uh, I was trying to play through Ib, and I never finished that, because, you know, my computer had a meltdown, but I also played through, like, Al Oni, uh, played through Amnesia, I played through, the, like, the Amnesia sequel, which was, like, a Machine for Pigs, which I thought that was a cool game, and there was a, there was a lot of other games that I was playing through. And the reason why I never really deviated to, like, going back and doing that stuff and I just kept it doing Cookie Run was mainly because I was scared of the Switch because the problem was I was afraid that there was just, like, no one who was going to be interested. So, here's what I really want to do. In fact, there is actually another factor that played into us, but let me just explain what's probably going to be happening soon, later, it doesn't matter. 
There are sometimes going to be videos that I upload where it's not going to be kick to run. And I know, it comes as a shocker, I know. But I gotta be honest, I really want to record some other things, and I want to have fun doing it. It's not like I'm having a burnout with Cookie Run, because there's still a lot of things that you can do within the game, and stuff that I probably even haven't discovered yet. And even if there's things that, like, for, like, vanilla content creation, like, you find, there's still a lot of, like, creative content challenge stuff that people can create, and I would love to dwell on those in the future. But for now, I really just want to, like, do other recordings, because, honestly, I really like recording games, and, like... Sheesh. It's a lot of cookie run, but I really also want to like expand my personality out, out on other games because that's something that really needs to be learned when it comes from YouTube. When you subscribe to a channel, you, you usually don't subscribe for like the content, you subscribe for the person. And I know that is kind of shocking to say because like, oh, obviously there's a, there's going to be content that you prefer. So if you subscribe to view the cookie run content, then that's completely fine. I don't like judge you for like only watching the cookie run content and not watching the other content. At least I'm producing something that you enjoy. And that's what matters to me at the end of the day. But I'm hoping that if I record other content, then it'll probably get some traction. But here's some, this is where I go into the phase of the video where I talk about other factors that really put me into this perspective. Now, there was a video I released a while ago on October, uh, well, not a while ago, but like, it was around October where I was like, oh, I'm going to try and play some horror games, and I only did one horror game, and it was a uh, Minecraft horror game based around Disc 11, and... I'm not sure how good the video did. I guess I could do a quick check. I mean, I'm literally just doing this live right now. Like, if I type in Minecraft, it's going to be the t first thing that pops up. Yeah, Minecraft Biggest Mystery at Music Disc 11, Minecraft Horror Game. And if I look at that now, if I just check the views on it, only just because I'm looking at it from that range, it has about 107 views, which you think I wouldn't mind? Which, let me tell you, let me tell you, I don't care about the views, I gotta be honest. What I care about is the traction, which I know what you're thinking. Oh, is that is that the same thing as views? No, it's about interest, and I want to know if you're interested in this other stuff that I do, because I know if you look at some of the other Kicker on stuff, that, like, of course it gets over 100 views, but then it can par on, like, 400 and 500, and sometimes even deviates even more than that. But I just really want to know if you're interested in other stuff that I really want to produce, because I want to kind of, like, do other things in regards to content, but I want to make sure that you all would be interested, because I've even got recommended to like other games before specifically of like mobile games too because i've been actually re recommended a lot to try out brawl stars which i really do want to check out and there's a bunch of other games that people have told me to check out but of course there's other content that i really want to focus on and i know it seems like i'm sounding like a broken record but it was just one of the reasons why like i really want to find out if you'd be interested in the plumbing content but Another factor that actually did make me consider into like going into this whole entire thing was my channel, which if you don't know about it, not Hyper Himes, it's my other YouTube channel that I've been working on called Your Local Pleb. And recently, I put down a video there for a Halloween special, and it was my top 10 favorite or top 10 best Pokemon creepypasta videos. And not even videos, just stories. And when I released that video, initially I was like, oh, get the same amount of views. Because, like, my I did three videos on this. If you exclude the trailer, I did three videos. There was a portal video, there was a video with my friends in a game called One-Armed Cook, and then there was that video. The portal video got, like, nearly 150 views. The One-Armed Cook video got, like, I don't know, 40. And the new video that I re recently released, Top 10 Pokemon Creepypastas, I released that, and at first, it was just like, oh, okay, well, got like, you know, 17 views, I really didn't expect much, but then I leave, and then I go check on it, and I'm just like, huh, well, it did get, it's now like 60 or 70 views, which is actually pretty cool, so I left, and I was like, well, that's probably going to be the peak of it, but then I kept going back, and then I kept seeing, it was like at over 100, and it was over 200, and then it was over 500, and then it was over 1,000 views, and as I'm saying this right now, the video is over 10,000 views. And for me, that's insanely impressive when you consider that that's from a channel that only has, that went, by the time it released, only had like 97 subscribers. And I'm pretty sure that video alone has gotten the Your Local Pleb channel to over 200 subscribers. I'm not even plumbing kidding. That's how good that video was. And... I can't believe I'm saying this, but, like, that video was, like, really a drive to, like, get me to, like, buckle down on, like, doing more production videos on your local pleb, which, if you're thinking, like, oh, I'm gonna be, like, not caring about Hyper Homs because I'm gonna be focusing on your local pleb, no. 
The thing about your local pub and Hyperheims, the big difference between those is that Hyperheims is like a more casual thing that I like to do on the daily. Your local pub is more like a long-term video plan thing where I focus more on like heavily edited videos and I pro try and put higher production stuff on that channel. And there will be some times where I put high production stuff on this channel, but it kind of makes sense for the stuff on this channel, you know, Kick to Run, you know, Kick to Run Iceberg and like some of the spooky stuff that I released recently. But like, even in comparison, you can bear the Halloween video that I posted for uh, the Kick Run channel, Hyper Himes, which is, uh, it's basically called Kick Run Reflected Burnout, which is a reference to the comic series I've been making on the Comic Studio website. It has 600 views, and that is super impressive, and I love you all for viewing that. But in comparison to the Your Local Pleb channel, it absolutely stuns me how much that is being insane. Like, it's just how much that view, that video has gotten just in the span of less than a week it's absolute insanity, and I cannot thank you, each and every one of you, enough. So, I know it seemed like I was kind of rambling on this whole video, but basically, just for a TLDR, maybe I'll leave a link down to this timestamp, just to uh, tell you, oh, here's a quick factor of what's going on in this video. Uh, I wanted to record other cookie run, like, I don't, <laughs> what the plug am I saying? I want to record content that isn't cookie run, but I'm not going to be stopping cookie run anytime soon. Like, let's say if I did do other content, it might be like, I don't know, maybe once a week you'll get a video that isn't cookie run, and then I can kind of like see how it goes from there. I was kind of scared with the uh, spooky, how, like, creepy pos not but like, what am i saying the plumbing horror game video that i posted on hyper hives it didn't get as much views at least as fast i know i said it got over 100 but like that was kind of like in the pan of like a few weeks which kind of scared me but the your local plug video got so many that i feel like i should focus more on that but i don't want to just focus on that entirely because i'm working on hyper hives so hopefully we can have a balance so expect in the future that I will be posting content that isn't Cookie Run, but I'm not going to be getting rid of Cookie Run entirely. It's just going to be my way of saying, hey, I want to do content, but I don't want to just stick to this one thing. I want to try and branch out to as many things as I can, and hopefully you can still love me for the content creator that I am. The goofy content creator who loves to scream a long time, like, or a lot of the times actually, and also likes to scream and rage at a cookie game, but also just wants to be there and hopefully can do some collaborations in the future because I don't want to be seen in just like this one person who does cookie run stuff because here's the thing, I would love to collaborate, it doesn't matter if it's cookie run or anything else, I would love to like collaborate with other content creators and that includes people in the cookie run community because I know that would be like, that would be very heartwarming, but... Let's, let's 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 just hope but i guess with that being said i'll just end the video here i would do an old outro but this is kind of more on the terms of like a serious video so uh hey subscribe if you want if you're interested in seeing the new content that i have to show and yeah like share this video if people want to be informed uh hit the bell i have merchandise i also have a discord down in the description and also there's a link to uh post and twitter 10,000 likes and uh you know i get the cookie run youtube stuff for free that's in the description uh but yeah be excited for what's to come in the future, and hail the hype niece.